artists, now that you've learned about Romero Brito, we are ready to begin our project. These are the materials that you'll need. You need to be able to glance at your rubric to make sure you understand the learning targets. You need your paint, scissors, a pencil, brush, and glue. I would also suggest a cup of water and a paper towel. And then there are a number of pieces of paper that you need. The paper for your heart, the paper for your wings, and your banner to think about what kind of kindness you're going to be sharing. Let's take a closer look at the rubric. Our description for this project is this. Inspired by the art of Romero Brito, students will use a painting technique called double loading. Oh, I love this. To create a brightly colored textured heart with wings. The way that we will assess ourselves is here. Students will use double loading to paint a large heart and wings. You're gonna take a look at if you can cut out and attach those wings carefully. And then we'll be looking for a clear message to represent the kind of kindness that you would like to share with others. As always, we'll also focus on you giving your project, creativity, your own sparkle, and a high quality finish called craftsmanship. Let's begin with the heart. You have a couple of different options here. You are welcome to just sketch a large heart like this. If you prefer to use a tool, I also have some templates available for your use and you can use one of those to draw a large heart like this. The next step in our project is to create our wings. Again, you have the option of drawing your own wings or using the templates I have available. The only thing that you need to think about is that you want your wings to go the opposite or symmetrical reflective way. So for example, if I have a heart here, I want this wing to be in the reverse over here. I don't want both of the wings to look like a right wing. So I'm going to trace these wings, one on this side and one on the other. We're gonna be painting our wings and heart with a technique called double loading. What I like about double loading is that it creates a textured appearance on your art. The way that you do it is you take your brush, in this case a foam brush, you could use a regular brush as well, and you double dip it, kind of like what we sometimes like to do with french fries and ketchup, double dip into the paint. Now, you'll notice when you do this that there is a little bit of contamination in the paint itself, and that's okay. You'll notice, though, that I didn't mix that in. I want to be able to see both colors on here. What that means is there'll be some spots on my wings that are white, there'll be some spots that are this dark gray, and there'll be some spots where those will mix together. And so I'm gonna get a lot of value, lights and darks on the wings, and it's also going to give it a more textured appearance. Now, as I'm thinking about how I apply my brush, I'm gonna be thinking about how those feathers on the wings flow. I don't wanna just paint it like this because that's not how a feather would flow. It's gonna kind of move along these areas. So that's what I'm gonna try and do. And you'll notice as I'm painting, I'm gonna be reloading, double dipping over and over again, back into those paints to reload my brush. This is what it looks like. The next step in this project is painting your heart. You have a variety of colors to choose from, 
including the white and the gray, but you may want to consider what colors are going to be best double loaded on your paintbrush. Earlier in the year, we talked about analogous colors, colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. These are going to be helpful with blending smoothly. If you pick colors across the wheel, like purple and orange, you are more likely to get a browner color. And that's fine if you choose that. I just want you to know ahead of time. So here is the process. Now, this is how it looks, how mine looks. Um, yours is gonna have its own beautiful effect. If you'd like to try adding value, this is optional. Because we have the white and gray, um, we could actually give this a try. Whenever you figure out value, and that's where highlights and shadows go, you have to think about a light source. So I'm gonna pretend like I've got a light shining here on my heart. I'm gonna add the highlights first. You can see that I've got a little bit of white on my brush. And if you think about it, wherever the light hits, it tends to make the area look a little lighter. And sometimes you can even see it like a whitish line. Um, or if you think about in someone's eyes, a white or light looking sparkle in their eyes where the light touches that part. So if I've got light coming this direction, I would have a highlight over on here. And I would also have that light shining on this part. So I'm going to add a little highlight over here as well. Um, you can see these are textured highlights. It kind of goes along with the look of this heart. Now, if you think about being outside, the shadow is always opposite of where the light hits. So it's behind you. In this case, if the light is touching these parts, that means that this back area is where the shadow would be. So I did just a little tiny bit of rinsing there. Let me just dab this off. It's okay if there's still some paint on there, but I don't want it too soggy. And I'm gonna get a little bit of gray, dip that in. And I'm gonna add a gray over to this area on the opposite side. And what that's gonna do is just give a little bit of value and a little bit of a sense of this being 3D. All right, let's move on. The next step in our Heart With Wings project is choosing if you'd like to add some designs onto the surface of the heart. I think these look particularly cool if you use a contrasting color. Um, I have a variety of brushes available, Q-tips available, because they make awesome little polka dots. Um, you could also use oil pastels at home. Here's what my process looks like. Notice that I kept my designs relatively simple. That's because I really like the look of double loading and so I wanted to make sure that all of that texture could still be seen. The last step on this project is to cut out our hearts and think about what statement we'd like to put on our banner. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut these out and then we'll do some thinking together. Now that our hearts and wings are cut out, we're gonna be thinking about what we're gonna write on the banner that's gonna go across the heart. These are gonna be displayed in the hallway and it would be really neat to see what kind of kindness do you want to share with the world or what do you want to share with the world from your heart if it could have wings and fly to someone else 
This is a sentence stem that you might want to start with. It says, if my heart had wings, I would. And we're gonna write down our thoughts first on a little piece of paper and just double check our spelling. And then we're gonna use our best handwriting to write it here. So when I thought about this, I would share encouragement with people who need it. I think there's a lot of people that are suffering right now or could use a little bit of encouragement. Oh, I need my period at the end. So once your spelling is checked, you can go ahead and write this on your banner. If you feel more comfortable, you could do it in pencil first and go over it in Sharpie. Um, another idea is if you follow this curve, it will make the banner look even more realistic. So one option, if you do better writing with a line, um, you could follow the curve very lightly with a pencil. And this gives you some lines to write on. So that would give me three lines. All right, let's work on this part. The last step in this project is to put it all together. So in a moment, I'm gonna cut out my banner so that I can attach that to the front of the heart. Um, I'm also gonna use my glue stick to glue the heart onto the wings. And I can really kind of play around with this and see what effect I like the best. Um, and so feel free to do that. Well, here is my final project. Um, I'm really excited about displaying these. I'm even more excited about you sharing um, with the world, with those around you, what is in your heart to give. Um, it's a beautiful thing. All right, thank you. Have a great time making our heart with wings.